Linda with EUR Web. Ladies, hello. Love the show. Uh, I wanted to talk to you too a little bit about sibling rivalry and why your relationship on this show was so intense. And I'll start with you, Helena. Hmm. Sibling rivalry. Well, I think with any, I'll speak from experience. With my brother and I, I know there's a lot of competition. You feel that animosity, even though you shouldn't. Like, oh, am I the favorite child? Am I most loved? You love, you're giving more attention there. I'm not getting, oh, okay. We have to fight now because there are, you called me a name and oh, let's show our strength. And now we were play fighting, but it got, a little escalated and now we're really fighting and <laughs> <laughs> i think with siblings you know you can say whatever you can do whatever and at the end of the day it can go away you know you don't really mean it and your blood you came from the same egg and sperm and <laughs> i i mean on the show, Nora and Rachel do a lot of things to each other. They say a lot of things. Mean but things. They, <laughs> yeah. Mean, mean, mean things. They have each other's back always. Um, and it may not be apparent, but I think that also speaks about the culture and you know their experiences through life. Rand, do you feel the same way? Yeah, um, I think that when it comes to siblinghood, it's very interesting, though, because I remember me and Helena and Sarah Stryker were like all talking about this um, when it came to my episode where it was like, I wouldn't necessarily call it rivalry between the two. Um, I think that, you know, there is that sense of like what Helena was talking about, though, where it's like, oh, but I want to be the apple of my parents eye. And even though they both are in a sibling's mind, sometimes you take, in a person's mind, sometimes you take something and think that your parents are actually loving that other person more when they're just admiring the things that that person can do individually. And then they admire the things that Rachel can do individually. But with Rachel, she's like, oh, this is the only thing that I can do. And I do it well. And they, look, <laughs> and it's just the same way they look at Nora when she's able to do all these Im immaculate things, you know? So I think it just happens where you, you, unintentionally look at your sibling in a competitive way um but then realize like no but i love this person and they want to see me do well and i want to see them do well now helena your character threw me for a loop and i, I won't have any spoiler alerts but i was shook by you and you know what they always say it's always the quiet one so true <laughs> it's so true uh so how would you describe this show for people who haven't heard about it yet, what would you say? How would you entice them to watch? We're on an island and there's nothing but the scraps that were left from a plane that went up in a blaze, but no one knows what happened to that plane that went up in a blaze. And when we woke, there was a plane that went up in a blaze and that plane that went up in a blaze, no one knows what happened to that plane that went up in a blaze. And now the girls that have to deal with the plane that went up in a blaze, watch the wilds. And then I don't need to even say anything else. Ladies, thank you so much. Enjoyed your show and I wish you a successful season. Bye, thank you. Yeah.